Florio joining us. In the news yesterday is Bruce Arians. In uh, one of his last things that he said as the head coach of the Buccaneers, called out Florio and said that, uh, well, go ahead. You can write about it, Mike. Um, what did you make of Bruce Arians yesterday? You know, I'm sitting there minding my own business, Dan, <laughs> in my office, working on PFT, got a, a window open with the Buccaneers press conference. And I mean, if I'd have had a mouthful of water or coffee or, well, it was too early to have anything stronger than that, I would have spit it all over the computer screen. I couldn't believe it. And look, I, 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 I like it. I, it just shows that they read and they heed and they listen and they pay attention. And I'm sure he's not thrilled with my speculation slash somewhat informed discussion of how this all came to be. But any, know, any I, chance that his, you know, the way he announced his retirement is actually real, like it's true. Well, when has this ever happened, first of all? It's the first time since Jimmy Johnson left the Cowboys in March of 1994 that a coach has exited this late in the cycle. None of it adds up. He was all in. He was at the scouting combine. He was involved. He was involved in free agency. And the idea that Tom Brady coming back caused him to say, now's the time to leave. If anything, it would cause him to say, now's the time to stay. I was worried about what we're going to do without Tom Brady. Now Tom Brady is back and 17 days after, this was the key for me, Dan, 17 days after Tom Brady ends a 40 day retirement, Bruce Arians is out. And there's never even the most remote suggestion that Tom Brady is troubled by that. Doesn't that tell us kind of everything we need to know? And I think we're underrating what Bruce Arians means to the football team on game day. But the fundamental problem here, I think arose from the fact that Arians wasn't involved with the team most of the time, and that he would show up and become involved. And at a certain point, the folks who are grinding every day, busting their asses every day are gonna resent that. And I think that's where some of this professional friction came from. Doesn't mean there's personal friction. You know, the Arians fallback is we get along fine. Well, there's one, been plenty of people I've worked with over the years that I love them personally. Professionally, I just can't work with you anymore. It's possible that those two things can exist.